Hi Taurus, welcome to your November 2022 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Taurus, I'm tapping into an energy today of someone that is on your mind. This person is either around you physically or mentally. You could be thinking about this person a lot. They could be thinking about you a lot. Of course, with general readings, this can be reversed. So uh, for my cross watchers, for Taurus, this may resonate as a Taurus that you're dealing with. And Taurus, sometimes this can even be you. So uh, keep that in mind. It can be reversed. So let's take a look here, Taurus. For the month of November 2022, for my Earth sign, Taurus. What are the messages here for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Let's take a look. Taurus, let's uh, get down to business. All right. If at any time during the reading, guys, you're enjoying it, getting something out of it, then please do press that thumbs up button. I'd be so appreciative if you would do that really help out my channel a great deal if you're a newcomer i'd love to have you subscribe and of course welcome as always to my regular viewers thank you guys for your support all right taurus let's see what's on this person's mind when it uh, comes to the situation at hand i'm going to get a uh, couple of clarifiers for you i want to start with firstly uh, your energy here taurus so let's see, this is not gender specific, this reading. So let's see. Let's take a look at Taurus's energy for the month of November. The Sorceress, oh, that's a very powerful energy. Now again, not gender specific. The Sorceress is all about uh, strength. And of course, uh, powerful strength, willpower as well. Getting things done. Think of it as like the Magician card, really. Okay, so that's uh, that's your energy there. I'm going to put you right there, Taurus, as inspiration for the reading. And let's get uh, let's get your person's in energy. Oh, we've got a ring in here. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to read you the card since it was in this deck and it shouldn't have been. It's a message for some of you. It is uh, the card of acceptance. And this is a very beautiful heart chakra energy around that as well. So we'll see if that fits into the reading at some point. I'm going to put that there. Uh, let's take a look at your person of energy, person of interest and their energy rather. All right, Taurus's person of interest. What is their energy? What is their energy, please? Taurus's person. What is the, the person that this reading is about? Spirit, can you show me their energy? The circus of love. Yeah, I was getting that with that, um, with this energy of uh, the heart chakra. I'm going to keep these cards together because this is a this is a very uh, open energy. I mean, when we think of, of the circus of love, uh, this is a this is very fool like. It feels like uh, opening up accepting love giving love feels like having fun with love not having uh, life be so serious for for some time so let's see what's going on here i'm going to get the connecting energy what is the connecting energy between taurus and this person for the month of november the connecting energy oh <laughs> Another circus card. We've got Ride the Wave and One Ring Circus. It, it feels very much like being in the moment, of the moment. Interesting. You know, the One Ring Circus is more of a, a, a feeling of being solitary, alone, having still having fun, having great joy in your life, but doing it alone. Whereas here with Ride the Wave, I'm seeing these uh, these two uh, dolphins uh, playing in the uh, in the ocean here, and I'm seeing that as uh, enjoying a momentary uh, interlude from the solitary energy with another person. So, for some of you Taurians, you're you've gone on a trip or you're going on a trip. Uh, for others of you, 
Uh, this is just about enjoying some fun with another person. Okay, we'll see where that goes, guys. So far, I'm loving the energy between the two of you. Put those up there. I'm out of space. Okay, let's see. Past energy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a lack of movement in the past. Uh, stale kind of energy. So this person that you're dealing with, Taurus, uh, could be another earth sign if you're cross-watching for a uh, an earth sign. Uh, I am picking up a, uh, a youthful kind of energy. This this is someone who may be a bit younger than you, a Taurus. And I'm getting a, a feeling around this person of being stuck. Uh, very much an energy here of someone who is looking for more in their life. Let's see what's going on in November the Ace of Swords so they're cutting themselves free from whatever has caused them to feel a stagnant energy around them I get uh, this person is uh, good looking as well I get a good looking kind of energy around this person I get that this person does like to uh, to show themselves off um, are they a little bit on the shy side they can be I get that they can be shy, but they really shouldn't be because this person has a lot, to, a lot to to offer. Not just with good looks. I feel that they're a, uh, that this person is a good person as well. So getting themselves out, getting themselves uh, being seen, going out more, being social. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands, so yes, uh, speed, movement, communication. I feel that uh, where there was a lack of communication in the past, there has been recently some kind of speedy movement towards opening up. And we have the Seven of Cups in reverse to make their dreams a reality, to make their fantasies come true. So previously, whatever was uh, imagined in this person's mind, Taurus, whatever they were thinking about, they're trying to bring it to fruition. Uh, we had that uh, sorceress energy there. So this person may be in more of a magician mode. They may be taking a leaf out of your book here, Taurus, and be more focused on making things happen in their life rather than sticking in this very stagnant... Uh, I'm getting a, a vision in my mind of, of you know water that is very brackish, very uh, hard to move in versus something that is free-flowing, uh, especially with these riding the waves. I see that Eight of Wands there as fast movement through clear water. Uh, this, this is very streamlined energy, easy movement, something that doesn't have to be hard. This feels like walking through some kind of molasses or treacle something that is hard to you know it's it's like oh it, it feels too sticky it feels uncomfortable whereas this is very free-flowing fresh kind of energy okay now let's see what uh, the positives are of this situation seven of swords okay so this person is uh, sneaking away perhaps for a little bit of a uh, time from work or a time away from something that has felt quite uh, stuck and uh, taking some time for themselves to have some play to have some joy in their life i feel that they've been stuck in a cycle of work coming home, maybe working again at home and then getting back up again, going to work, the same old, same old, same S-H-I-T, different day, right? It feels like that. So this person does need a bit of escape. Uh, you may need a bit of escape here, Taurus, too. Away from the mundane, away from the everyday and making magic happen. I get that with this reading. The challenge here is the Page of Wands in reverse. Well, keeping up with you, Taurus, because I feel that uh, this is your energy. Again, male or female, I feel that uh, you could be one step ahead of this person. They may be trying to play catch up here because I feel that there has been a delay. They've delayed this uh, connection. They've delayed this communication. So they need to... I feel make make the effort while you are 
around because you could be some of you could be moving some of you could be on the move i get an energy here of a moving target so if they want to catch up with you i feel like they're going to have to arrange some time away from the everyday uh, to meet up with you now their hopes three of wands yeah i feel like they're hoping to meet up with you you could be uh, coming to visit this person you could be in their area I get you traveling towards this person and them taking the opportunity to to meet with you uh, to meet up with you Taurus the fear page of Pentacles in reverse yeah uh, fear is that you will uh, just be friendly and nice to them uh, but perhaps won't be I feel that they want more than friendship guys it, especially with this circus of love here and riding the wave and and uh, and wanting to uh, uh wanting to experience uh, something playful i get a, a playful kind of energy so i feel that this person taurus is coming in with a communication wanting to meet up with you but they are fearful that you will just keep them as a, like a, a friend basis i feel that they want to be more than friends now this seems to be someone that you've been friends with in the past maybe you've kept it as friends uh, don't feel that you've been lovers with this person at least not yet but they may be hoping to be lovers with you here in november let's take a look the goal here seven of wands in reverse is to lay down this uh this boundary that uh, that has been between the two of you i feel it's a friend boundary guys I feel that this person wants to overcome that uh, that that friend boundary. You may have friend zoned them. Perhaps you friend zoned each other. Uh, could have been for a number of reasons. Of course, it's a general reading. Uh, most likely because uh, this was just something you you only imagined in the past. You didn't think it was possible to achieve. So Taurus, it seems like this is possible in the month of November. Uh, the possibility is here to. Uh, to make this something what's being avoided knight of cups okay well there has been an avoidance of change of movement i feel that this person has been stuck for a while and i feel that they have made choices in the past and they've been stuck because of these those choices that they've made I feel that they want to make different choices absolutely and i get that this person wants to follow their heart chakra i mean when we think of the knight of cups there's a beautiful heart awakening here this is this is joy from the soul this is joy that is felt from deep within and it's it's very very imaginative very childlike very very much someone who enjoys life enjoys the uh, the beauty of life of nature of uh, uh, sexual energy as well and and it's just experiencing life with a lot of pleasure and happiness like a like a young child without all of the the added burdens that we put on or that get put on us through life this feels like this feels like a beautiful experience guys but this person has avoided that in the past i don't feel that they're avoiding it anymore but let's let's see what's in their environment we've got the queen of wands in the reverse hmm. now i feel that uh, i feel the taurus that if you're the resonating is more of a uh, this sorceress energy more of this uh, this feminine energy and I feel that I am talking about a female Taurus here again Sun Moon rising or Venus signs so I will always let you know when I'm picking up feminine or masculine energy now as you know it's not about gender it's not about sex it is about energy so if you resonate more in the feminine then this will be you Taurus and this is someone who okay i'm getting an energy here 
of uh, not knowing your not knowing the power that you possess there's somebody here who I feel it's you Taurus who has a lot of power in this situation I mean we have the ace of swords here that speaks to me of power you have a lot of power here but you may be more unassuming I mean, you don't seek the spotlight you don't seek um, you don't seek that power but you have it it's it's within you and you may not know how powerful you are because I feel that you're very powerful you've attracted this person towards you whether you've meant to or not uh, this this friend someone who who is looking at you as a very powerful very attractive uh, somebody who does want to ride this wave with you here, but they feel like they they won't have you for forever. I do get that. They feel like they'll have you for a short time, and then have to kind of go back to something or, or give you up. I'm getting that. Other people, we've got temperance. Yeah, there there, there does seem to be. There does, t there does seem to be, I get possibly both, of, not, this won't be for everyone, but for some of you I'm getting an energy of uh, you both have other connections or you both, okay. Yeah, I get you've both had other connections. It could be the reason, of course, why you haven't been able to get together, why you've both had these uh, perhaps fantasized about each other, uh, secretly obsessed about each other, but you've kept it as a friendship because you've both been involved with other people. An action to be taken, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's an opportunity, something that's here perhaps for a short time, I feel like this, this person, Taurus, does want to make the most of this opportunity. Otherwise, they feel like they could miss out. They could miss this opportunity. Perhaps you're, you're visiting them without a partner. Perhaps a partner is, is not there uh, for whatever reason. Uh, others of you, uh, there, there may be a break. You may be taking a break from a partner and you're, you're temporarily available. <laughs> uh, that kind of energy here. And what's hidden is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel that that's, that's somebody else. Uh, it's, it's, it's trying to... Trying to balance out... Making the most of an opportunity... To possibly explore where this could go with each other. You know, ride that wave. While also keeping harmony... With somebody else. This... And I've got it as a uh, Queen of Cups energy, uh, maintaining the harmony there. So there does seem to be, a, I am picking up third party energy here, guys. Now, the thing is, Taurus, I feel that this person is in love with you. I feel that they want to do more with you. But they seem to be restricted at the moment because of this other person. But I feel that they're, they're, they're making some kind of plan, a strategy to escape from this individual. Uh, so that they can come and ride the waves with you here. <laughs> I feel that this person wants to, to come with you on this, this journey of yours. Uh, they, they like the way that you're living your life. They, they see you as someone that they could have a lot of fun with, a lot of happiness. And they see you as an escape, really, from, from this other situation that they're in. And, and I feel that they care very much about you and they care very much about getting out of this other situation but they're at the moment they seem to just be well I get that they're actually going to put some kind of plan in they've been thinking about this a lot they've been thinking about how to go about this the best way to maintain the harmony with what they have so that they don't cause a big disturbance there while also going to enjoy this moment with you Taurus so something to be a little bit mindful of because I, I feel like this person does love you they, they do care for you a lot they do want to be with you but they do have somebody else there in the background someone that they're trying to smooth things over with uh, Taurus yeah 
I feel that they think that they can't have you for a long time, but they do want to come in and have something with you. But it may be you, Taurus, that is, is restricted in some way. Uh, maybe you live at a distance from this person. Uh, you could be with someone as well, but I just get that there's an opportunity in that the two of you can have to meet up, have something, but then I get I get you going back. Uh, going back to other things. Now, again, take it as it resonates, guys. Um, let's see, I'm going to pull a card from this deck here before I go to the extended now. If this is your reading and you're resonating with this Taurus, I will take this to the extended. I'll be pulling over the outcome card, uh, seeing where this uh, where this goes. So if you'd like to join me there, the link is down below. I'll be clarifying, going much further in detail. It'll be about a 30 minute reading. If you'd prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot. The link is down below. I am offering Skype readings now as well, guys. Uh, so let's take a look here. Taurus, what does Taurus need to know when it comes to this situation? Message for Taurus. Advice for Taurus regarding this situation. Advice for Taurus. Surrender defensiveness, yeah. So if you've been um, keeping this person at bay, there is this this energy here of uh, feeling somewhat weak, uh, thinking, "Gosh, I shouldn't be so weak here. I shouldn't be weak." Uh, I wonder. It's like this person has wanted to. Well, it could even be you guys. I, I feel like it's you that has been on the defensive. I feel like it's you that's been on the defensive, not wanting to appear weak. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because I feel like this is this is something that could actually be really good for you, you know? Letting people letting someone in. Uh riding this wave. Uh that's interesting. I wanna I wanna talk about that one ring circus for a minute. Uh guys. Because I feel that there's something more to that. Um, this is someone who's very independent. This feels like a uh, having a vision for the future. You know, we did have that with the Three of Wands, wanting to be independent. Uh, this is someone that uh, has accumulated a lot of wisdom along uh, the path here to gain this independence. This is someone who is competent capable of moving forward with uh, confidence and assurance and while being very self-reliant. Uh, this is someone who is used to maintaining clear boundaries between between you and another. So that, I get that friendship barrier between the two of you. Uh, this is about discerning about partnerships, who to let in, who not to let in. But when you know who you are, and you have a healthy sense of where you end and another begins, then you can enter into a, a special kind of relationship and attract people to you who mirror back uh, that sense of, of who you are, that whole person. It feels like uh, there's an opportunity here to have some kind of um, interdependent relationship, which is mutually supportive, very stimulating, very transformative, yeah <clears throat> yeah because I feel like um, when it comes to partnerships here Taurus it, it really is about what is love and what isn't love when, when it's it's a, one of those codependent relationships where somebody uh, seemingly can't live or can't survive without another person uh, that that's not a healthy relationship so I don't feel that you're conjuring up that kind of energy. I feel that you're getting rid of that. You're getting rid of any kind of toxicity that may have been lingering around past relationships, which were more on that codependent energy. Uh, this feels like not needing a relationship. 
but attracting someone to you um, who I feel is a friend of yours it, it feels like someone that you know I don't I'm not getting that this is a new person but it's someone who um, wants what you want uh, wants what you possess they're attracted to your interdependent your independence excuse me they're attracted to your independence because they have someone around them that is not independent um, and they don't like that feeling it makes them feel restricted stuck so they like the freedom that they have with you the freedom to be who they are the freedom to express themselves the f they're just freedom in, in itself so that's what they like about that's what they like about you Taurus is, is that you're allowing them this this freedom now feel free to flip this out could be you that uh, enjoys this person uh, and their freedom so yeah if you have been blocking this out out of fear out of a sense of gosh I don't want to feel feel weak um, spirit is asking is asking you to let this person in let this person into your life uh, this is a, this is a interdependent type of relationship a mutually supportive relationship one that doesn't restrict one that doesn't bind one that allows you both to uh, have um, have freedom to be who you are to to do the things that you like to do independent of the relationship but then coming back together to experience a lot of fun together as well um, it's a nice mixture and that that is a beautiful loving kind of partnership I mean that's that's a healthy love right there the only wrinkle that I see here is is somebody um, not letting this in uh, possibly I get for a lot of people it's because there's another person here in the mix that that needs to be um, well let, let's just say uh, uh, it's more of a codependent relationship uh, that someone is stuck in um, a codependent a codependent now that seems to be the hidden thing here uh, this codependence now hopefully it's not this person has hidden co has hidden codependence I don't think it's that it doesn't feel like it to me I feel it's a it's a third party energy it's somebody in the way of this relationship that's what I'm getting here guys so we'll talk about it more in the extended reading Taurus I hope that you join me there again the link is down below in the descriptions box please do join me if this is your story if you would like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store Gypsy Insights Tarot and the link is down there below guys do press that thumbs up button before you go I'd be so appreciative if you would do that share me on your social media help me get the word out especially if you uh, if you know a Taurus that is dealing with this kind of situation please uh, forward this on to them and if you are a newcomer I would love to have you subscribe Taurus I wish you all the very best with this uh, please do take care I'll see you in part two or I will speak to you again very soon bye for now